Now, the C-clip is out, and we simply put that aside. What that does now is allows us to be able to push the bearing out, and the bearing will come out this way. On this particular hub, it actually comes up against the outside here, the seat. So the bearing comes from the opposite side and sits against this on the inside. Now, there are people who will have told you that you could drive that out with a piece of wood and a hammer. Uh, you would have to drive it from this side. You're going to need a bigger hammer than I've ever seen in my life, and you're going to have to be about 20 years younger than I am to do that. So uh, what we did is we purchased a kit, and that kit has multiple rings and bearing removal type instruments. We even found that using this kit and a very large wrench, that it still would not get that bearing out. Now, this is a brand new bearing, and you can see that it's uh, sealed as it's supposed to be. It's top of the line, made in China. Um, if anyone knows of a U.S. one, I wouldn't buy one. I would buy one, or a Canadian one would be even better than a U.S. one. Uh, ha ha. And, uh, then what we're going to do is take it over to our uh, press here. We're going to set that up on the press, and then we're going to show you uh, removing that bearing.